Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to perform changing of bar sizes from one size to another. Well, let's start. So you may be given such kind of beam section where you have maybe a top bar 2, 5, 14. These are bars with 14 millimeter diameter. And at the bottom here you may have four pieces of 560. You may be asked to change from this bar size maybe to 512 and from this bar size maybe to 520. Now, reasons for such a situation occurrence can be that the client already purchased rebars of certain size. For example, this client may have purchased rebars of 520 and maybe 512 and already stored in the store. And maybe availability of a limited bar size at the local market. And maybe other reasons can also be possible. So for such situations, if you are the engineer, how would you perform such a conversion of bar size from one size to another? Well, I will give you a very three simple steps that you can follow to solve such a problem. So for example, here, let me give you one example. Here the example says, convert the bottom bars to rebar size 520. Here at the bottom, I have four pieces of 516. So I will perform this one. I will also do the same issue for this one, okay? I will change the size from 514 to another, okay? So now, let me start with the first step. The first step will be determining the reinforcement of the area of the provided bars, okay? Now here I have four pieces of 516. I have to calculate the area of these rebars. So here the area will be four times pi times the diameter square over four. Here I get this much millimeter square. Now, the second step will be determining the bar, the area of the single bar that I want to convert to. Now, I want to change from 516 to 520. So, I need to calculate the area of 520. Here, one piece of bar 520 will have an area equal to 314.159. Now, once I have these two data, I can now determine the number of bars that are required. 520, I mean. So, here... The number of bars will be 804.248 and divide by 314.159. Where did I get this? This came from this part and this came from this one. So when I divide this by this, I get 2.56. Once I have found this number, since we cannot provide this kind of number in the rebars, I will take a full whole number, okay? So 2.56, I will take 3, okay? So I will provide three pieces of 520. So once I have performed uh, the third step, now I can provide such kind of uh, rebar detailing for the reinforcement that was at the bottom here. So it was here, four pieces of 516. Now I will have to provide three pieces of 520. Now, in the same way, if we are asked to convert the top bars that are two pieces of 514, to bar size 512. What shall we do? Let me repeat those three steps again, okay? Now here, the first step will be determining the reinforcement area of the provided bars, okay? Here I have two pieces of 514, so let me calculate the area of this. Two times pi times 14 square over four. Here I get 307.876. Now let me determine the area of single bar that I want to convert to. I want 12. Here I have pi times 12 square over 4. Here I get the area of single bar for 512 is 113.097. The last step will be determining the number of bars. It will be this divided by this, okay, as we did in the previous step. Here I have again 2.72. So as we did in the previous one, we will take a whole number that is the upper limit, okay? So we will take three, okay? Now, again, we will repeat the same thing here. It was here, two pieces of 514. Now I will provide three pieces of 512. So at the bottom, we have found that it is three pieces of 520. And at the top, we have three pieces of 512. Now, there are some points that you have to note. Always when you perform such kind of a bar size changing procedures, you need to check the requirement of rebar spacing as per the code. For example, the spacing between this bar, the clear spacing between this bar and this bar are specified in every code, okay? 
this dimension, this spacing must satisfy the spacing uh, provided as per the code. Now, especially this issue will be important when the rebar size is reduced. For example, if you had, we had here uh, two pieces of 514, now we have three pieces of 512. Maybe if we provide 510, maybe you may need maybe five pieces. So in such conditions, the number of bars will increase here. So the space between the bars will be reduced. So for such a case, when you reduce the rebars, so such uh, this requirement will be of higher importance. In the same way, again, another issue that you need to take care of is that check the change in the effective depth D and its effect on the section capacity. Especially this issue will be important when the rebar size is increased because when the rebar size increases, the effective depth decreases, okay? The other issue is, this issue will be important when the layers of the rebar is increased. For example, here, you have one layer of reinforcement. For example, if the calculation uh, found was maybe six pieces of 520, maybe you may need to provide another layer of bars here, okay? If the spacing is not satisfied, you may be obliged to provide a second layer. So in such a condition, the effective depth will be reduced, okay? So this will actually affect the section capacity, okay? So for this reason, you need to check the change in the effective depth because it will affect the section capacity. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share, and if you have any comments, please write in the comment box. Thank you. See you next time.